Hello everyone and welcome to another in review. This time we are looking at Crawl. Around this sort of time of year you can't always get these sort of horror films. I look at 47 meters down which I'll be getting a sequel. Uh, I think it's already out in America. It was that last weekend in America. I'm not sure when we get it in the UK but we kind of get we've got a lot of horror films coming out. I think Crawl comes out this weekend as well as Scary Stories. It's obviously soon as well and yeah like I said 47 meters down. You always get the sort of horror films around this sort of time of year. There's a market for these horror films, and with horror gradually getting uh, making more of the box office, it only makes sense that we're only going to get more of these films. And the crawl actually came out a few weeks ago in America, but we're only just getting it in the UK. And uh, I heard good word of mouth, or the good word, I suppose it was online, so it's not word of mouth, but I was hearing good things about the film. The trailers didn't particularly grab me, but and made it look a little bit more generic. But I actually really liked the film uh, as I go into it, and I, it gave me a sort of similar sort of vibes to Jaws at the time. That like it doesn't always take itself a little bit. It doesn't always take itself too seriously, but a modern sort of interpretation of Jaws. I felt like with Crocodiles is a sort of pitch that I think the producers went and the, the writers went and when they were pitching this film it made it makes a lot of sense and I think there's a couple of homages in there as well and so the story is uh Caius Goodalerios I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name uh Effie from Skins she was in uh the last Pirates of the Caribbean film uh she is going back to her hometown as there's a hurricane there and her dad is still in the house there and uh, then she finds that part of her house is flooded and there are crocodiles around as well um, which are obviously hungry and after some humans to eat and it it's a short film and it knows exactly what it is it, I think Alexandra Aya who uh, uh, is making this film I haven't heard of him before this one I, I think his name's now been attached to other films and it it works. I think it knows exactly what it is. It's trying. It's not trying to be something else. It's short. It's uh, it's just under an hour and a half. There is some little bits of gory moments in there, um, but that kind of is with the times, and I think that works well. Uh, at times, it I think it goes a little bit too much. Uh, there are times when it gets a little bit unrealistic, like someone gets bitten by these crocodiles and they're not, uh, they don't really seem to be affected by it. But, and then other times you see uh, people getting eaten by these and you, you're just like, oh, okay, they, they are being, there, there is definitely some uh, death in this film and like they, they, they do realise it. And, I, I thought, as far as cast goes, it's a small cast, and uh, like I said, Kai is kind of the main lead, and I thought she did a good job. She's obviously looking for this leading sort of role in Hollywood, um, which I think she was hoping for with Pirates of the Caribbean and what that would have been moving forward, but it sounds like they're going to go in a different direction to what they were planning on. Um, yeah, she's kind of the main one. There isn't too much to say. It's a short film. The scares in it, I think work. They're a little bit James Wanney, and in the they're cleverer the scares than and it's like better timing than the usual one. So I'm gonna give it some props as far as that. Uh, as far as the rating would go, I'd say three and a half out of five stars. I think uh, really uh, does the film just. If you're looking for this sort of film, if you're into horror films, then you're you're gonna want to check this one out. Um, it, probably is better than 47 meters down to or whatever uh un uncaged i think it's called um so this one i'd probably say is what although i've heard i think i've heard decent things about 47 meters down but i recommend good definitely going and checking this one out if if this is your sort of film then you're definitely going to enjoy it if you're not into horror films this isn't going to change your mind at all um and that's it for this review uh Join us uh, at the weekend for the next in case you missed it. Join us, if you're listening to this on the Tuesday that this comes out, join us tomorrow for my top 10 21st century horror films. And uh, subscribe, 
go and follow us on Instagram at Inside the Network, on Twitter at Inside the Network underscore, on Facebook to keep up to date with all the latest film news and all our posts on here as well. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>